Amen. All right, we're going to read a little bit in the book of Genesis, Genesis 1 1. We want to talk to you just a little bit this morning concerning uh, some of the things that God has created. And uh, we hope that it'll be a blessing to you. We hope that uh, as we talk about these things, that you'll. Uh, you can uh, understand where we're coming from with this lesson and uh, it will be a benefit to you I, I, I know because the Lord has blessed me with uh, with it and uh, he showed me some things and so in the first chapter of Genesis verse 1 of chapter 1 in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth and I want to start out with this this morning in the beginning was not the beginning of God. Right. In the beginning was the was God creation. And he created this earth and there was nothing there was nothing there. Now notice here and the earth was without form and void. And you, you say, well, where did the earth come from? God created it. Mm -hmm. And he made it that way and he says here that it was void. And this word void means empty, vacant, not occupied with any visible matter. There was nothing there. Amen. And there was complete darkness. And why I'm, te why I'm trying to teach this to you this morning is to show you the greatness of God. Amen. And we so many times we don't understand or we don't take time or we just don't think upon how great God is. Right? Amen. And so he said here, and the earth was without form. And the reason it was without form is because it was covered with water and it was moving, I believe. And the darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. And so we see here that God had nothing to work with. He created what He worked with. And He's created everything that mankind can ever see. He has created all of the elements of the, of the world, uh, of the earth. He has created the darkness. He has created the, uh, the light that separated the darkness from the light. He's created everything. And it says here that it was in, uh, uh, in verse 3, And God said, Let there be light. Now, in God's word, in God's speaking this, this became. He did not... He did not sit down for a thousand years and, and concoct some kind of a machine that would make light. But he said, let there be light, and there was light. And listen, how great a God is that Amen. that we serve, and we serve God, and we look to Jesus as our uh, interpreter to God for our prayers and and our intercessor and 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 we serve the Lord Jesus Christ and he stands before God also and makes uh, our our prayers known and he says and God said let there be light and there was light and God saw the light that it was good and God divided the light from the darkness Amen. and God called the, the light day and the darkness he called night and so he divided he divided this darkness from the, with the light, and this this day, uh, as he as we think upon this light, this light that he that he divided the darkness from was not from the sun or from the moon right. or from anything like that. But he he divided this, and he said there is a dark side and there's a light side. And listen, there's so many people this day and time are on the dark side. Right. They're they're in this they're in this thing where that uh, uh, they they want this darkness to hide in, and they don't want to see anything that pertains to the light of God because they have no desire. They've never been touched by God, and they're just out there stumbling around in the dark. And right. They, 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 they would run from the light if they seen it and could. And so he said, uh, and God saw that the light 
that it was good and God divided the light from the darkness and God called the light day and dark and the darkness he called night and the evening and the morning were the first day so we are laying a foundation this morning on this how great God is and what he, what he did the first day and how that he created all of this and as you read the, the whole the Genesis here of one, it tells about what the great things that he did, how he created them. And I know that anybody that has attended church and has gone to church and has studied their Bible, they've read all of these things. But the thing of it is, we have a tendency to forget. Right. And here it's good this morning if we just scan through this and see what God did. And he said, uh, he put a, in the verse chapter 6, or verse 6, he, and, he, and he made the firmament in the midst of the water and let it divide the water from the waters. And this is like the darkness from the light. And he divided the waters from the waters. And there was a land or a, a firmament. And God made the firmament and divide the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so, and God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second. And so we go on and we see all of these things that he did, and we want to we want to scan just a little bit here and into verse 16 when we see that and God made two great lights. Now I notice I, in the first there I said that the, the sun was not the light that he was talking about, but he said, here it is, God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night, and he made stars also. Now listen, can you imagine, can you imagine <clears throat> that the best study that we have of the sun is that it's millions of degrees hot, and, and, and he spoke that into existence, Amen. And then we sit down on our stool of do nothing and doubt what God can do. Right. We pray and, and, and just because when we say frog, he don't jump. Listen, we say, well, he's not hearing me. He's not, he don't want me to have this. But listen, God is able to do anything, Amen. everything, and he's able to answer your prayers and he's able to uh, hear your prayers through the Lord Jesus Christ and he knows every word that you pray for and he knows everything that you need and he th knows everything that you want and it's good that he does because so many things that we want we don't need right. and so this morning this is a, this is a greatness of, of God and notice <laughs> And uh, even in this, and God created whales in verse 21, and every living creature that moveth, the waters brought forth abundant and after their kind, and every winged fowl after their kind. And God saw that it was good, and God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, multiply, fill the water, and the sea, and the fowls of might, and multiply in the earth. When we, when we see a bird fly over, when we see a rabbit run across the road in front of us, or when we uh, see any of God's creations, do we, does it dawn on us what took place with that fowl or with that animal? He Amen. created them, and listen, He put them out here for our use, and He put them out there as reminders for what He has done, just like it is when you walk out and see the sun shining. You should think of how great God is. Amen. What, what he what he did even when you walk out of the night and see all the stars and millions of stars and and you know uh he made those he spoke them into existence and we this morning should think upon this and say how great a god we serve amen and so it, it, as we go on and uh 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 he notice in 24 he brought forth the, the cattle and all the things of this and then in 25 God made the beast of the earth after they're his kind and cattle and all of this it's, it's telling him telling what he created and listen it's still here for us Amen. It, right. it's not it's not gone it's still here even right. though people hunt these animals and do this he made it and he told them to multiply and replenish the earth and they're here for our benefits and they're here to make us know that God is still on the throne Amen. and the Lord Jesus Christ is there beside of him. Amen. And listen, what what uh, what we need, he knows. And so I want you to I want you to turn with me now if you would 
to the book of John, 1 John, or yeah, let's go to 1 John first. Let's see what he says in, in 1 John 1 1. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. Now this is none other than Jesus Christ himself. Now I, I, want, to, I want to show you something this morning, uh, read something to you, but when I was reading to you about how that God created all of these things for our need and for our pleasure, there was, there was Jesus Christ that was with him. Now Jesus Christ in history come 3,000 years ago or something like that from a from a virgin woman which was a miracle amen but listen he came but he had already been he was with Jesus our God right. in the beginning he That's was right. there and I, I, want to, I want to read you some things here uh, in, in this for in verse 2 of, of John 1 uh, 1 John for the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness, and showed them, and showed unto you that eternal life which was with the Father, and was manifested in us. That which that which we have seen and heard, declare we unto you that ye also may have fellowship with us. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And these things write we unto you that your joy may be full. This then is the message which we have heard of Him and declare unto you that God is light and in Him is no darkness at all. Amen. And if we say that we have fellowship with Him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Yeah. But if we walk in the light as He is in the light, and He's talking about that light that separated the darkness, He says, We have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sins. Now, I want to show you something else in John, in, in John, the book of John, in verse, uh, verse 1. In verse, uh, verse 1. Uh, in the beginning was the Word. Amen. Here we go. And this Word, notice, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God, and all things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. Amen. In him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. So we see here that that this is the word is the Lord is is God uh, is Jesus Christ. Now I back over if you would and, and just bear with me a minute. I want to get back to First John, First uh, John, just a minute. I want to read you something else here in chapter five. I believe it is. Uh, 1 John 5 I believe it is if I can get uh, 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 no I'm sorry it's uh, yeah, 1 John 5 7, 5, 7. now <clears throat> here it is for there are three that bear record in heaven the Father the Word and the Holy Ghost Amen now you say, well, where's Jesus? Notice. And these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in earth. The spirit, the water, and the blood. And these three agree in one. If we receive the witness of men, we receive the witness of God greater. For this is the witness of God, which he hath testified of his Son. He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar because he believeth not the record that God gave of his Son. And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life and his life is in the Son. So this, this word 
that we are reading in John, 1 John, and, and here too, was the Son of God, Jesus Christ. And I, I, I want to I want to read something else to you just in a minute. I'll find it. In Luke 24, notice in Luke 24, in verse, uh, uh, in chapter, in verse 3, I believe it is. 24, 3. All right. Okay. Uh, we need to get a little bit further over. Good. Keep me reading so much. Uh, just, just bear with me just a minute. Notice here in in uh, 35, in verse 24, 36. In, in verse 24, in uh, Luke 24, 36. And as they thus spake, and this is Jesus on as he was uh, after he had been resurrected, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said unto them, Peace be unto you. But they were terrified and affrighted, and supposing that they had seen a spirit. And he said unto them, Why are you troubled? And why do ye and why do thoughts arise in your heart? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit hath not flesh and bone, bones as ye see me have. And when he had thus spoken, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they yet believed, not for joy and wonder, he said unto them, Have you here any meat? And they gave him a piece of boiled fish and of honeycomb, and he took it and did eat before them. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. And so again, I, I, I've still not got where I wanted to. Uh, uh, I wanted to read something else before. And, and, uh, just bear with me just a minute here. Uh, John 17, John 17, 1, 5. I'm going to get over there. 17, John 17, 5. Okay. John 17, 5. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thy own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Amen. Now this shows us this morning that Jesus Christ was with God when He said, Let there be light. Amen. And when He said, uh, Let us make man, let us make man in our own image. Jesus was there. And so we see that Jesus has always been with God and He came to this world by the birth of a, through a woman and what what greater thing could God have done than to have created or to have let him come to this world and live some 33 years upon this world and go through all of these sins and all of the filth and all of the things that he had to go through with and that he lived perfect life Amen. and that he came and he offer himself as the sacrifice for the sins of the world and he went to the cross of Calvary and he died for our sins and listen this morning we do not we do not give God and give the Lord Jesus Christ praise like we should amen because listen all of these things that I have read to you this morning God did them that we could be with Him and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit together when this old world is, has ceased to be, when it's, when it's been destroyed and when the new heaven and new earth are created and we'll be with Him. And listen, this is, this, this is something this morning, like I say, 
when you see the stars, when you see the sun, when you see the birds fly, when you see any little animals, listen, even to the ants on the ground. Hey, God made them. Amen. God put them there for a purpose, and if nothing else, that purpose was to let you see that those little ants sometimes get into your, your stuff and aggravate you and all this, but listen, when you get to thinking about it, God made them. Mm -hmm. And He put them here for a purpose to remind you and me, listen, I did this for you. And He said, I did this for you when I sent my Son, Jesus Christ, to this world. And He voluntarily would come. And He died on the cross of Calvary. And He shed His blood for you and for me. Amen. And that blood covers our sins. You and I cannot do anything this morning to be right in the eyes of God without Jesus Christ. Amen. It's got to be that way, people. And this should show us this morning, it did me, how little, really how little I am. How often I forsake praising God. Because listen, I can do it. I can do it all the time, and I Amen. still, I still won't come up to the bar. And listen, if it wasn't for Jesus Christ and Him sitting there on the right hand of the Father, making intercessions for us, our prayers would never be answered. Jesus, all Jesus does is present them to cry uh, to God, and and God says, okay, He needs them, or He don't need them, or whatever. But listen, that's that's. That's us this morning, how we should realize that we're nothing but ants crawling around in the eyes of God. As, as compared to God, I'll say it that way. And so this morning, I, you know, this this is what uh, this is this is what I've been studying on this weekend, and it's been an eye-opener to me. Uh, and I, I I knew it, but I didn't know it. I, I knew it, but it wasn't fresh in my heart like it is now. And we should be able this morning to get up and say, praise the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. And we should be able to get out here and tell people, hey, I know the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I know Him as my Savior, and I'd like to tell, him, tell you about Him. And uh, these, are, these are some of the things that I got out of, out of the creation of God, uh, what He did. And what Jesus Christ did for us. And listen, the Holy Spirit Jesus sent back after He had left this earth. He sent Him back and He said, I'll send you a comforter. Mm -hmm. People, that comforter is the one that consoles you when all hell breaks loose in your life. When you, when you have things that you just cannot, you just can't bear by yourself. Comforter, the Holy Spirit will come and comfort you. And so, again, that's something that we have that we can praise the Lord for. And so, I hope this morning that some of these scriptures that I've read, and I hope that, and I pray that there are people outside of this building that will hear it and they will understand some of the things that I'm trying to say to you this morning because. Uh, there's so many people that has never heard anything uh, to glorify the Father. Right. And uh, they don't know anything about Jesus Christ. Uh, there's worlds of people that don't even know who Jesus Christ is. But this, this is my way of helping the Lord Jesus and God to, uh, to wind this little ball beyond them. Because His Word has got to be preached into all the world. Right, well, it's got to be told in all the world before he comes back. And you see, every time that we can share this word with someone and tell them about the Lord Jesus Christ and about God and how great he is, uh, that helps the time get a little bit closer and a little bit closer to his coming back. So this morning, this is this is my uh, this, this is my lesson, I, and uh, I hope that something has been said here that will encourage you. And strengthen you, and uh, give you another uh, day to uh, to.
to think upon uh, what what the Lord has done for you. Because he, it's him, it ain't nobody else. So thank you all so much for listening to me. Bless you.